I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, Gee, stop being such a pansy. I'm the one who always ends up in trouble because of you. <gasps> Is no one ready yet? <laughs> right away, milady. Come on, Gee, put your back into it. I, I can't anymore. Sheesh! This is unbelievable! Well, I suppose that's adequate. Not bad for the two of you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Princess! Antique decor is the only type worth anyone's while, really. <laughs> Wasn't I supposed to have some tea as well? <laughs> you idiot! You knew the butler was off duty today! So it was your responsibility! <laughs> hey, Rabbit! <laughs> huh, did the door hit something? Whatever. Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, ever- To think that the nerve you have to barge into someone's and of all people's my house without proper manners. And you call yourself the Grim Reaper. How about you start by taking your own life? Really? You're gonna bring up the Grim Reaper th I I'm so sorry, Miss Rachel. We rang the doorbell, but... And the door wasn't locked either. So we figured it wouldn't do any harm if we invited ourselves in. I wasn't speaking to the two of you. I was referring to that caveman... No, Plankton, rather. Surely this calamity was all his doing, was it not? Wow. Quite the upgrade there. Plankton, thanks for that. Wait a sec. We're all here because you're the one who called us. Just spit out what you wa- Whoa, whoa! What the heck's that TV doing here? Yes, it has been quite the uphill battle for you lot and the developers as well. Miss Rachel? What's happened to you all of a sudden? Humans are unable to process more information than their measly brains can carry. Do you not agree that there's something we must all organize around here? Organize? What are you talking about? Ugh, how can one be so cruel? Gee, Nago? Coming right up, Princess! And here we go! Huh? Already? Roger that! The, the abridged version. Exactly. The abridged version. It comes with my narration too. No extra charge. Hey, who are you talking to? Shut up, plebeian. And he, where the bloody hell is my tea? Coming right up. we best start from explaining the very unique state of the world once upon a time unique once upon a time what are you going on about please don't interrupt lowly grim reaper how low is the grim reaper on your totem pole on the food chain i'd say you'd fit nicely somewhere between the bottom of it and dirt you should feel honored that you're even breathing the same air as me but of course how could i forget a slight tangent. Now, do change the scenery, will you? Roger that! This is... me and New? Long, long ago, this world had been looping in time, due to the Takamagahara system, which was charged with managing it. And Ragna, I hate to tell you, but the repetition was a result of none other than your actions, though you had no clue at the time. That's correct. A story that starts anew as soon as it ends. Amidst this story, Ragna and she, they fought each other more times than I can count. Ragna, you came to kill New, right? Kill's putting it quite lightly. More like destroy. Ha, huh, very funny. I sound nothing like that. Please, think of the imposition upon the rest of us who must hear your voice coming from all directions. 
Miss Rachel, earlier you said something was the result. But what happens to Ragna after that? You see? My body! It won't move! Let's become one, Ragna! I'm not even gonna say anything anymore. No matter how many times the world repeated itself, there was one result that wouldn't change. In the very end, those two would fall into the cauldron. That was... the result? More accurately, upon falling into the cauldron, the two morphed into a loathsome creature. And our story ends. Morphs? That's right. The two fuse and transform into a completely different monster. The Black Beast. The Black Beast? After becoming the Black Beast, Ragnar travels 100 years back in time, arriving in the present. This is the beginning and end of our loop. Huh? Then the Black Beast is... Ragnar? <sighs> but you see, this endless loop was finally brought to an end, and a new chapter created. You, Noel, were the cause of this phenomenon. M me we have a little review, yes? Whoa, the scene changed! That's Ragna and Mr. Jube! Ragna, don't mistake the power of the Azure for your own. Now, this scene looks a little familiar. Oh, that's right. I bumped into my master on the way to Kagutsuchi. Bearing the Azure Grimoire on his right hand, traveling from city to city, destroying all the cauldrons in his wake, he finally sets eyes upon Kagatsuchi. The SS-class criminal, Ragna the Blood Edge. Um, so is this before that result you were talking about earlier? No, it's quite a bit after. But of course, this is all according to my sense of time. So, it's after time looped back on itself then? I don't think my brain can handle much more of this. That's quite alright. I understand this concept can be difficult for a single-celled organism to grasp. Please, take your time. Uh, hold on a sec. I'm supposed to be the protagonist in this story, right? I'm just checking. Up until this point, every repetition was exactly the same as the previous. But this time, something was different. Something that didn't exist before, existed. That's you, Noel. Enter. Excuse me? Uh, um, was that supposed to be, uh, me? She was assigned as Major Jin Kizaragi's secretary, and was in the process of delivering intel to him, yes? Th that's right. And the moment he finished reading the file, Major Kizaragi uttered Ragna's name, and disappeared from the NOL branch like thin air. And your next mission was to find and bring back the now defected Jin Kizaragi, was it not? That is, of course, not knowing the order came from Yuki Terumi. Mr. Terumi? This was all a plot conceived by Yuki Terumi in an attempt to revive himself. I must confess, I am partially responsible for not realizing his plan sooner. Using his cover, Kazuma from NOL Intelligence, Yuki Terumi began to slowly manipulate the phenomena around him. And with tactful diction, he secretly steered you into finding Ragnar's whereabouts. Huh? But I thought I was supposed to investigate Major Kisaragi. Ask yourself, who was Jin chasing at the time? Huh? It was all an act to bring you to Ragnar and introduce you to her. He needed you to awaken as the eyes and successor to the Azure. But his motives did not end there, I should say. In the end, you came to Kogatsuchi searching for Jin, who was chasing Ragnar. <laughs> we finally meet again, brother. Now, let's kill each other! Jin, I'm never gonna forgive you. Oh, there you guys go fighting again. Didn't I tell you two that brothers aren't supposed to fight? Uh, you're speaking to a TV. And besides, this was a long time ago, you know? I'm sorry, it's just the voiceovers made it seem so realistic, I couldn't help myself. This realistic? You're joking. The 
This was shortly before Noel arrived at the NOL branch. Yeah, Jin was waiting for me at the branch that time. Something felt really weird now that I think about it. Something felt weird? It was kind of like deja vu, but I was seeing memories I had no idea existed. Memories of another me. Information was probably flowing into you from different loops of this world. Ragnar, you must have had the same feeling somewhere else as well. A phenomena intervention. Oh, I've had that before too. A memory that felt like my own, but wasn't. I'm just never able to remember exactly what it was. In your case, it's a little more unique than that. It's a completely different sensation than what Ragnar was experiencing. Does that have something to do with... me not having any memories of the past? Yes. I'm sure your very unique upbringing has something to do with it. Upbringing? And it is for that very reason Teremi set his eyes on you. You do remember, do you not? Another girl with a similar upbringing as yourself? Oh. <gasps> hey, Noel, what's the matter? That's right. I was fighting that girl and... All of a sudden, I began to lose consciousness. I thought I was going to die, but I didn't want to. In that moment, Ragna was standing in front of me. You came for me, Ragna. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you, so bring it on! Aw, of course. The Ragna I know always comes to save the day. What the heck am I supposed to be, some kind of instant hero? exact same thing that always happens. The two of them fell into the cauldron and were going to transform into the black beast once more. And the world would repeat itself. This loop was no different from the rest. Even I was convinced until that last moment. That last moment? You grabbed my hand as I was falling into the cauldron, right, Noel? Thanks to that, I didn't transform into the beast. Exactly. And the cogs of time once again began to turn, scribing a history that has not yet been seen. It was none other than your hands that broke us free from Tokamagahara's infinite loop. At that moment, she was selected as the new successor to the Azure, the new Eye. All because she put an end to the loop. Wow, that's amazing, Noel. Huh? Uh, is it really? If it weren't for you, Ragna wouldn't be here today. We owe you our thanks. W well, Ragna's the one I'll be saving me, so I. Nevertheless. The story doesn't end once Noel gained the power to observe. Especially not for that man. Teremy. Observe me, Noel Vermillion! Noel, don't look at that man! Don't acknowledge him! <laughs> hmm. Must be the wind. I thought I heard something rather unpleasant. I... I'm so sorry. It was nothing... I revived Yuki Terumi. There's no need to beat yourself up over it. Even I was unable to figure out that man's true intentions. Long ago, Jubei and the hero, Hakumen, worked together to seal Terumi away. But sealing him away was not the same as death. By acknowledging him with your power, Noel, you have created his existence in this world once more. That is exactly why Yuki Terumi was working on the inside of the NOL. Acting as Hazama. Um, so, Rabbit, about that. There's something that's been bugging me. Oh, believe me. You're the only one doing any bugging around here. I have no obligation to respond to the inquiries of a flea. Okay, okay, I get it. <clears throat> Your Highness, I have but a humble question. Would you please be so kind as to provide an answer? There, you happy? I suppose that'll do. You should truly be grateful for my generosity. Unbelievable. 
I really don't want to dig up old memories, but on the day the sister died, I swore I saw Terami, not Hazama. But you're telling me Terami's existence was created by Noel, right? Then what the heck did I see back then? Most likely he was observing himself at the time. It's a rather crude method and quite limiting. However, if anyone could do it, he would be the one. Even the legendary Sage Nine borrowed his powers to create the Ars Magus. You see, his power is immense. Right. <laughs> now, I should say that about sums up the strange world in which we used to live. Do you all understand? Yeah. Um, I think so. Yes! Uh, probably. Very well. Then let us take a break here. I'm a little tired myself from all the talking. Now, I could really use a hot cup of tea. Yeah, yes! Right away!